Hey, Jer. Wow, you look rough. Late night? I got into it again with Anna. Again? Man, I feel like we're always fighting now. What was it about this time? Oh, we were getting ready to leave and she was just taking forever to... You know what? Who cares? It was a stupid thing to fight about. Isn't it always? Yeah, but it keeps happening. I don't know if there's something wrong with me or with us. I mean, you and John never fight. Maybe it's a woman thing. <laughs> you think John and I don't fight? That's so cute. Come on, you guys are like the perfect couple. <laughs> I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that only us gay guys know. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> All couples fight. It's not a woman thing. It's a listening thing. What's that supposed to mean? I'm a great listener. So we aren't running. No, we are, I promise, but you can't just drop a bomb like that and pretend like nothing happened. Fine. You remember that retreat I went on for work a few months back? You mean that Long Beach thing? Yep. Sure, corporate exercises filled with some psycho babble, but cute bellhops and free booze, right? <laughs> yeah, the bellhops were cute. But not all the psychology was BS. I learned a really great method that helps when John and I fight. It's a little weird, but it genuinely works. And afterwards I feel heard. It's called intentional listening. Isn't all listening intentional though? No. So you have to agree to engage in this special type of listening. It's scripted, so it feels weird, but it actually works. Let's do it, right now. Show me, Master Jedi. I tell you what, I'll show you intentional listening if you agree to run an extra mile. <sighs> Deal. All right, so let's start with something low stakes, like muffins. Okay. Tell me how you feel about muffins. All right. They piss me off. <laughs> Who in their right mind would design a baked good that doesn't have the basic structural integrity to stay in one piece before it reaches my mouth? So what I hear you saying is that you think muffins are hard to eat. Well, it's not just that they're hard to eat. It's more like they won't stay together. I expect my food to maintain its form before it reaches my mouth, Stuart. Is that too much to ask? So what I hear you saying, Jeremy, is that for the convenience of the eater, a baked good should not crumble before it reaches their mouth. Did I get that? No, it's not, it's not, dude, it's not like it can't crumble at all. That would be absurd. It's just that when the crumb attrition reaches 40%, you're gonna have a serious problem. We're gonna end up spending more time looking for all the little pieces than actually eating the damn thing. And then half the crumbs end up in the trash. So what I hear you saying is that you think the muffin is a poorly designed baked good that crumbles too much, which is inconvenient, and it makes you feel guilty about wasting food. Did I get that? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about the long and short of it. Is there more? Nope. <sighs> Thanks for sharing. No problem. <laughs> so, how do you feel? Do you feel heard? What, that's it? You just repeat what I said back? Yup. I repeat it back in my own words so that we absolutely agree that I understood everything that you were saying. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I, I do feel heard. Interesting. See, I slip into this when John says something batshit crazy, and you'd be amazed how many times it has to do with miscommunication. So you, you actually think that this will help with Anna? It's worth a shot. All right, time for a run, Romeo. For the record, even after intentional listening, I still think your muffin thing is batshit crazy. Oh, okay, so what I hear you saying is that you think that my well-reasoned disdain for muffins is insane. There you go. <laughs>